we should discipline ourselves in small things and from these progress to things of greater value. When it comes to achieving your goals and living a purposeful life, self-discipline is the key. It empowers you to overcome obstacles, resist temptations, and stay focused on what truly matters. And who better to guide you on this path than Marcus Aurelius, a man who faced immense responsibilities as Emperor of Rome while stoically maintaining his integrity and philosophical principles throughout? Secret 1. Developing a Stoic Mindset You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. To build self-discipline, it all starts with cultivating a Stoic Mindset. You have the power to shape your thoughts and perceptions, and this is where the journey begins. Embrace the Stoic practice of negative visualization, where you imagine worst-case scenarios and prepare yourself mentally for them. By envisioning challenges and setbacks, you can train your mind to be resilient and adaptable when faced with adversity. Remember, you have control over your thoughts, emotions, and actions. The Stoic philosophy encourages you to focus on what is within your control, rather than wasting energy on external factors beyond your influence. This concept, known as the dichotomy of control, empowers you to let go of worries and accept the natural order of things. Secret 2. Practicing self-awareness and reflection. Look within. Within is the fountain of good, and it will ever bubble up if thou wilt ever dig. Self-awareness is the foundation of self-discipline. By becoming more conscious of your thoughts, emotions and behaviours, you can identify patterns that hinder your progress. Take a page from Marcus Aurelius' book quite literally and engage in stoic journaling. Dedicate a few moments each day to reflect on your thoughts, actions and progress towards your goals through self-discipline. Write down your observations, insights and areas where you can improve. Marcus Aurelius' meditations serve as a valuable resource for self-reflection. His personal reflections on virtues, morality, and the impermanence of life can guide you in navigating your own journey. Allow his words to inspire you and provoke deeper introspection, leading to a greater understanding of yourself and your aspirations. Secret 3. Embracing discomfort and inner control. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Another of Marcus Aurelius' secrets for building self-discipline lies in embracing discomfort. The Stoics believed that by willingly subjecting yourself to challenges, you can strengthen your resolve and develop resilience. Step out of your comfort zone. Engage in activities that test your limits and confront your fears. By doing so, you train yourself to persevere and remain steadfast in the face of obstacles. Additionally, Stoicism teaches the importance of inner control. Acknowledge that you cannot control external events or the actions of others, but you have complete control over your thoughts, attitudes and choices. Teach yourself to direct your focus and efforts towards only what lies within your power and let go of what is beyond your control. This shift in perspective allows you to channel your energy into more productive and meaningful endeavors. Secret 4. Delay gratification. The more we value things outside our control, the less control we have. Delayed gratification refers to the practice of resisting immediate desires or rewards in order to achieve greater long-term benefits. It involves exercising self-discipline and patience, opting for delayed satisfaction over instant short-lived gratification. Marcus Aurelius, in his writings, emphasized the importance of delayed gratification. He believed that by resisting immediate pleasures, individuals could cultivate self-control and lead a more virtuous life. Aurelius recognized that the pursuit of instant gratification often leads to impulsive and irrational actions, hindering personal growth and fulfillment. The benefits of delaying gratification are numerous. Firstly, it enhances self-discipline and willpower enabling individuals to make conscious choices aligned with their long-term goals. It also fosters resilience and perseverance, as delayed gratification requires patience 
and the ability to withstand temporary discomfort. Additionally, delaying gratification promotes better decision-making as it allows for thoughtful evaluation of options and consideration of potential consequences. One thing you can gratify now without guilt is to subscribe on our Stoic Wisdom channel. Secret 5. Visualize your goals. Marcus Aurelius once said, if you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. To build self-discipline, you need to have a clear vision of what you want to achieve and where you want to be in life. What are your goals? What do you want to accomplish in your life? Once you know what you want, it becomes much easier to create a roadmap of how to get there. Visualization is a powerful tool for achieving your goals. When you visualize yourself achieving your goals, it sends a positive message to your subconscious mind that these goals are possible and achievable. This can help you to stay motivated and disciplined even when things are not going as well as you would like. Visualizing your goals is a simple but powerful way to build self-discipline and achieve your life goals. Applying Marcus Aurelius's teachings in the modern world, now that you have discovered Marcus Aurelius's secrets for building self-discipline, it's time to incorporate them into your daily life. By applying these practices, you can cultivate self-discipline, set goals, create effective routines, and overcome the evils of procrastination. Setting goals. Begin by identifying your long-term aspirations and breaking them down into smaller, actionable goals. Utilize the stoic principle of focusing on what is within your control and set goals that align with your values and personal growth. Write down your goals and review them regularly to stay motivated and on track. For example, if your long-term aspiration is to become a published author, set a goal to write a certain number of words or pages each day. By consistently working towards this goal, you will build self-discipline and make progress towards your ultimate objective. Visualize your goals. Once you have your goals set and you are clear in your mind what you want to achieve, start imagining yourself reaching those goals and how that will make you feel. When visualizing your goals, try to be as specific as possible for maximum impact. Let's say you have a goal to improve your physical fitness. Start by finding a quiet and comfortable place to sit or lie down. Close your eyes and imagine yourself achieving your desired level of fitness. Imagine the sights, sounds and sensations associated with being fit and connect with the positive emotions that arise. Feel the sense of accomplishment, pride and satisfaction. Creating routines. Establishing daily routines can provide structure and support for building self-discipline. Take inspiration from Marcus Aurelius's commitment to reflection and introspection. Dedicate a specific time each day for self-reflection, journaling, or meditation. This practice will help you cultivate self-awareness and strengthen your discipline. Create a regular exercise routine for your schedule. Physical activity not only promotes overall well-being, but also fosters mental resilience and discipline. Marcus Aurelius believed in the harmony between mind and body, and by prioritizing physical fitness, you can further align yourself with his stoic principles. Overcoming procrastination. Procrastination can hinder your progress and undermine self-discipline. To combat this, employ the stoic technique of negative visualization. Visualize the potential consequences of delaying important tasks and reflect on how this aligns with your long-term goals. This exercise can help you overcome the temptation to procrastinate motivate you to take action and reinforce your progress in self-discipline. Another effective strategy in overcoming procrastination is to break tasks into smaller, manageable steps. By focusing on one small manageable task at a time, you reduce the overwhelming nature of larger projects. This approach allows you to maintain momentum and build self-discipline by consistently making progress experiment and monitor progress embrace stoicism as a personal experiment engage in various stoic practices such as negative visualization gratitude exercises 
or philosophical journaling and observe how they impact your self-discipline and overall well-being. Monitor your progress regularly, noting any changes in your mindset, behavior, and ability to stay disciplined. Reflect on these observations and refine your approach based on what resonates most with you. Delayed gratification. Delay instant gratification in your life by setting clear goals and defining your priorities. Identify the immediate desires or temptations that may hinder your progress and find strategies to resist them. Practice self-awareness, mindfulness and reflection to understand the underlying motivations behind your impulses. Remember, building self-discipline is a journey that requires patience and dedication. Embrace the challenges and setbacks as opportunities for growth. By applying Marcus Aurelius's teachings in your daily life, you can embark on a transformative path towards self-mastery and develop the self-discipline. You need to achieve your goals and live a fulfilling life. Do not hesitate and watch our next Stoic video to continue building your Stoic self-discipline.